But seriously, these are really strong bow arms. Hello, what is up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. Today is going to be a really special one because it is again one of these Wednesday videos. I've always wanted a Nerf bow, especially one of those uh, dude perfect Nerf bows. But unfortunately, I can't really get my hands on one of those and it is really expensive right now. But thanks to Mac Potato, they are actually able to find me something pretty cool. Which which is one of these bows. And it is actually pretty strong. Oh, by the way, Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dart blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dart blaster. This might not be a foam dart blaster, but they do sell it as well. So if you guys are interested with one of these, all the necessary information will be provided in the description down below. In the box, we got the bow itself, three arrows, safety goggle, an iron sight attachment, a laser, and a target sticker. To install the iron sight, remove the iron sight that's being held by the twist tie. Slide in the iron sight attachment and poke in the iron sight. To install the bow arm, align one side of the bow arm with the body and then push it in place. Repeat the same with the other end. To tighten up the string, pull the string on one end of the bow arm to your desirable strength. A little bit something like this. And then tie a knot. To install the laser, just friction fit it to the square hole. To fire the arrow, place the arrow on top of the stabilizer, align the nub of the arrow with the string of the bow, with that you can pull and release. And this is how the bow looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster of Tia, I mean, uh, first look at the bow. What we got over here is looks like one of those uh, composite bows or one of those uh, Olympic design bows over here, like a sport bow. The material of the bow over here is actually pretty straightforward. I would say that it is mostly, I would say 100% made out of plastic. But based on the uh, Chinese online advertisement, these bow arms over here are actually pretty strong. It actually can withstand a considerable amount of pressure. I guess this is the maximum pull that I can do right now and I actually tried to abuse them a little bit and surprisingly enough they didn't break. Holy moly what kind of plastics are these? I can't actually find any information about the kind of plastic that is being used for the bow arm over here but seriously these are really strong bow arms. Alright guys back to the bow so I would say that the grip itself is actually uh, I would say okay I'm pretty sure that these are made for kids but these are pretty strong bow arms and string for kids. The bow also comes with a some sort of a aiming mechanism over here we got a uh, iron sight and adjustable iron sight which i don't really found it useful like if you're not a big fan of iron sight over here it also comes with a laser attachment so that you can you know aim with your laser or something like that but again i too find it weird and cool in the same time with this laser attachment thing over here it looks really tactical but in the same time it kind of looks uh pretty pointless because you don't really try to aim your bow like super straight because most most of the time you will arc your hand a little bit in order to get like maximum range. Never mind about that, this is just a toy for children's. Okay, other than that, at the body of the bow over here, we got this uh, tiny stabilizer thing for you to, you know, put your arrow on top of it to, you know, stabilize your shot of some sort. A little bit something like this. And when you release the string, it will dislodge itself from the string. Oh, by the way, the blaster, I mean the uh, bow actually comes with these kind of arrows over here, which is pretty cute. It comes with one of those uh, giant suction cup at the front over here. In the package, it even comes with one of these uh, finger sleeve thing over here for you to, you know, uh, put it on your finger just in case you want to pull the string really hard. But I think this thing is really unnecessary, probably just for show. So basically, it comes with one of these uh, elastic band thing over here for you to put it over your hand and then you put this sleeve things in your finger. I think this is how it works. Uh, it is kind of complicated. Never mind, I have absolutely no idea how it works. And I personally think that I won't be using this anytime soon. Because pulling the string with your bare finger doesn't really hurt your finger. In fact, it actually feels pretty comfortable. The package also comes with one of these giant target practicing stickers. And if you guys are not into stickers, you can always get yourself one of these giant practicing targets. And I guess that's it. Before we move on to the firing demo, yes, I did only say firing demo because I actually 
found out that it is actually really hard to test the FPS of this bow over here. One of the major factors is because of this giant suction cup thing over here. It doesn't really fit into the hole of the chronograph. So what I actually did is literally remove this giant suction cup thing over here and replace it with an actual Nerf Elite suction cup dart. But then all of this uh, aiming mechanism is actually getting in the way. All of this aiming mechanism kept hitting the chronograph. So what I actually did is to literally remove the entire aiming mechanism just to test the FPS. And after doing all of those, I found out that the reading is all over the place. You can't really test an FPS of a long arrow like that. We kept getting errors after errors after errors. What I mean by errors is that we are actually getting something like a thousand or nearly two thousand FPS, which I am 100% sure that those are not the FPS numbers or else I would be breaking my window. But there are some occasions that I do capture something like a 30-ish, 40-ish FPS, which again, it is pretty sketchy of an FPS because this thing can literally go for 10 meters. Yes, don't underestimate this little toy bow over here. 10 meters is actually not a problem. So without further ado, let us move on with the firing demo as well as the accuracy test. Okay, okay, we are back guys. So the performance of the blaster, yes, I can't really tell about the FPS because I can't really test it out with the chronograph with a bow and arrow. But overall in 10 meters hitting a target is actually quite a problem. The accuracy of this thing is all over the place, but I managed to hit the target twice at least, right? But overall operating this blaster, I mean the bow over here, I didn't really encounter any gems at all, which is a good thing. Obviously it is a bow and arrow. It is impossible to jam. But for the fun factor, I do have a lot of fun with this bow over here because it is some pretty strong bow arm. That's like the impressing part. And does it pass the wall test? Yes and no, not the most intimidating bow in the market, but it do somewhat kind of pass the wall test because of the uh, aesthetic of the bow. Kind of looks cool by the way. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, smash the like button. I will be posting videos every Saturday and sometimes on Wednesday, just like today. So remember to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you guys want a Saturday shout out, leave a comment down below and I will be picking a couple of you guys for a Saturday shout out. So yep, Gordon's checking out and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Adios, guys! Yeah.